Ever since the COVID-19 pandemic hit the U.S. in March 2020, many Americans, once they got over the initial scare, started to spend a lot more time outdoors than before the virus struck. This tendency has led to, among other things, a boom in the boating industry. A recent study conducted by the National Marine Manufacturers Association found that from 2018 to 2023, the U.S. recreational boating industry has grown, posting a 36% increase in annual economic activity, from $170 billion to $230 billion, and a 40% jump in recreational marine industry-related jobs. Florida tops the list of states with the most dramatic rise in recreational boating and industry-related jobs, California is second and Texas third. The U.S. capital, Washington, is up there as well. Chris Bloyer works at the Columbia Island Marina on the Potomac River. We have a current wait list at this marina, and that wait list has only gotten longer. But boating is not a cheap hobby. Beyond the price of the vessel itself, there is the cost of renting a slip, a place to park a boat. At the Columbia Island Marina, this can fall between two and $10,000 a year, based on length. Bloyer says business is good. We operate three marinas and six boathouses in the Washington metropolitan area, all on the Potomac River. And since even before the pandemic, we've seen growth as much as 10 to 15 percent per year. Many marina staff members work only in high season. Many are high school or college students who see this as a perfect summer job as well as an opportunity to learn a new skill and, as Bloyer says, a chance to spend the hot D.C. summers on the water. Getting out in nature and being able to relax, uh, getting away from the screens that everybody's so addicted to, uh, to just experience beautiful weather. It's a special kind of community, all built around like-minded people creating a neighborhood on the water. For Lilia Anisimova in Washington, NRIs. BOA News.